Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to do a nitrogen test on the unit. Uh, Zach just put in a filter dryer, brand new filter dryer. Here's the one he just took out. It had rust. It was leaking Freon. So this customer will save a lot of money by just replacing this, what we call preventive maintenance. We at Jones Air Condition like to try to save our customer money when possible. So what he's done here, he's actually filled it up now. He's going up to the... Uh, Work inside of the pressure of the system, bring it up to 200. And what's, what he'll do once he gets to a certain point, he's going to shut it off. And we're going to leave this on for about 10 minutes. He's going to take it up to around uh, 300. If it doesn't leak at 300, it's going to hold forever because this is an R410A system and um, the working pressure is normally about 325 on the high side. See how it's equalized? That means he's got the same amount of pressure in both the suction line and he's got the same amount of pressure in the liquid side. All right. These are the uh, Vortex gauges, by the way. They have four ports on them. They're great. It actually has a half-inch hose to pull a deeper vacuum. That's the next step. He'll pull a vacuum on this thing. He'll pull it down to about 200 microns. Industry standard is 500 microns. We like to pull ours down to ensure we get all the moisture and air out of these systems. Because actually water boils at 12 degrees at 500 microns. And we're going to pull it down below that. So water will actually boil at low atmospheric pressure which atmosphere's pressure is 14.7. He has it hooked up over here. He has it hooked up over here. He's got it on the suction side. He's got it on the liquid line side. And I don't hear no leaks around the filter dryer that he added because he put in a sweat joint here and he put a sweat joint here. So I think we're good. If you have any questions, you have rusty filter dryers, you have questions about your AC system, call for a good, honest quote at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, 239-596-5855. Thank you.